we saw this incredible, I mean, it wasn't an armada of ships, it was just a mass of ships. I don't think we uh, realised at all, really, the scale of the invasion. When all those thousands of Allied troops moved towards Normandy's beaches, just a few men in a few miniature submarines were responsible for marking where they could land without hitting rocks. Jim Booth is the last of the men in the X craft still alive. He's 92, but his memory for D-Day is crystal clear. Suddenly we could hear the roar of planes arriving. This was the RAF in absolutely full force, the bombers. And then the battleships 15 miles away started. The shells went over the top of us and you could hear them whistling you know, over the top. That was quite spectacular, yes. Oh, that, this is our submarine. This. Jim's been reliving that day a lot recently. The documentary crew has taken him back to the same underwater spot that he spent five days waiting before D-Day. Seventy years on, in a slightly more sophisticated sub, Jim got up close to the wrecks of the craft which never made it back. There are more than 200 of them half a mile down. It's so much different because of course in next craft you can never see out of your boat at all other than the, the skipper who can see in the periscope. But there we had this enormous great window at the, uh, the, with which you could uh, see, I mean, great enormous thing, which you could see, I mean, as near as you. You go as near as you to the, to the side of the wreck, you know. So it's just very, very spectacular, yes. We must have gone along the coast to make sure we could take fixes on... This is the map Jim's boats used to find that all-important position. A sat-nav would have been nice. He had a pencil and a protractor. And the X-Craft, by the way, looks like this. For five men, it really was a miniature sub. It must have smelt quite fresh down there. It did begin to smell a bit, yes. <laughs> Very much, I'm afraid. Despite winning a medal, Jim always said that he was just doing his job. But as the peacetime years have ticked by, the significance has started to sink in. Quite honestly, I don't think we realised at the time, actually. I mean, it's only after that, really, that we began to think, what, you know, that we were rather important. <laughs> he can't swap stories with his crewmates anymore, but his grandchildren now know all about the huge invasion and the man in the miniature boat. Dominic Reynolds, Five News.